What's up everybody, it's your boy Wes Grant, and you're watching Suburban Nerd, this is the channel where I give my nerd reviews on today's nerd news. Also give reviews on movies, and today's movie I'm going to be giving a review on is Night School. Night School starring Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart. If you guys don't know, I'm going to just give you a quick summary. Night School is about this guy, Teddy Walker, who's a hustler, a really good salesman, you know, he pretty much he can sell you anything, he can sell salt to 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 Eskimo you can sell ice to Eskimo whatever you say but he actually accidentally ends up blowing up his place of employment he's out of a job realizes he won't realizes he can't find another job because he never finished high school he needed a diploma so therefore he goes back to the only school that is offering these night classes and guess what his old nemesis is the teacher or the, the principal the dean or principal of the school and he ain't trying to have it, but trying to deny Teddy, played by, you know, Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish's character, Carrie, who's a night class teacher, rolls in, and it's like, yeah, he can be in my class, so she brings him in. And then that's when Kevin Hart goes to the class, and hence, night school. And there he runs into an ensemble of people who all have their unique personalities, but this... The movie is pretty much just him trying to go through the classes along with these ensemble people. And you've seen in the trailers them trying to steal the, the, the tests or whatever. I'm going to just cut to the chase right now, right? The good things. The good things I'm going to say about this movie is there's some pretty good chemistry. These people start to generally feel like they, they kind of tolerate or like each other. The chemistry between Tiffany Haddish and Kevin, you see that, you know, they're, they're cool. But, and this is where I, I gotta, I gotta go from there. The negatives way outweigh the the positives because first of all, the with the the chemistry between Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. I'm, I'm no, I'm about to go in. Between Kev, Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish, it doesn't seem real. It's like it's like if you told people to pretend like they're not friends and act like they're not cool, but eventually start pretend like they're cool, like. Th that's where it gets awkward because the 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 way they go at each other, the back and forth, the ad lib, like I'm pretty sure the the director was like, you know what, you guys are comedians, just do what you do, but it doesn't hit. It doesn't hit any point. Like most of the time, the banter between back and forth of them, it just it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like genuine. It feels like if they were out on their own outside of the movie, they'd definitely be cracking on and getting and enjoying themselves. It, and Kevin Hart's a funny guy because I've seen. I just seen a commercial on YouTube, and this dude was telling a story about like how he was late when like he gives respect to people who's late. But regardless, like I said, he's a funny dude. In this movie, he's not funny. In fact, he's hell of annoying. He he's this guy that just keeps lying. And I've seen these movies already. I've seen Liar Liar with Jim Carrey. I don't need to see this this this, this low grade comedy that this, it isn't even funny. And the thing that's crazy is they spend a lot of time on these jokes. Hoping that it's going to make it maybe, maybe funnier, last longer. Because they introduce all these people. Like you've seen in the movie. Like there's just this one guy who's going to school or going to night class because he never graduated. And his son's not trying to do anything with his life and go, want, isn't going to college. And he said, if he gets his diploma, he's still going to get that. Okay, I understand that. But they stayed on that way too long. In fact, just introducing like his name, Big Mac, and... No one's heard, he's never heard of the Brig Mac from McDonald's. That stayed on that too long. Then you got this dude, he got fired because I guess a machine took over his job. Just talking this whole thing about how machines are going to take us over. Don't give a F about that. You got this girl who was pretty much the quickest one who doesn't, who's, who's just going to night classes because she got kicked out because of something. Then you've got this mother who, played by, uh, by Mary Lynn, what's her name? If you guys know her, she's from she plays Chloe O'Brien in the in the old series uh, Twenty Four. If you guys have never seen it, it was pretty good the first couple of seasons. But yeah, she's in this, and she's a mother who a mother of three who loves God and really has some issues. But she's just talking about this, and they go on way too long with her. And I'm like, yo, I I don't care. You're going on this way too long. And I understand they're trying to build up and lay it lay down the road for whatever comedy thing happens later in the movie, but it just didn't work. It just seemed like they spent way too much time on this. And then watching the rest of the movie, Kevin Hart's a dick, and, and even when he finally steps up, it's like, okay, alright, 
I understand. And, and it's formulaic. I was calling out jokes. I was calling out things that were going to happen in the movie well before it happened. And the person I was sitting in the movie with, she was like, stop. Stop doing that. And then she found herself finishing one of the jokes. And I was like, see, I told you. It's predictable. This movie's predictable as far as when you, you see the comedy. You see the jokes coming a mile away. You can call it. You can straight up call it. And somehow they think it's going to work with us. The only part that was kind of funny, there was very few moments where it's generally funny. But there's a part all the way at the end, which, you know, I hate to spoil it to you with the, with the graduation, where, like, you're talking, or Kevin Hart's talking about his dad, you know, he always was given a heart, but, you know, he... he just, if you watch the movie, that's the best part. That is the funniest part. Funniest thing that Kevin Hart does. The rest of this movie, he's annoying, he's high-pitched, loud, and they keep emphasizing, they keep talking about it and mentioning it as if that's going to make it funnier when it happens, but it ain't. And then the whole thing with him lying to his to his fiance, and that's kind of stupid because, like, if someone's trying to better yourself, like, why, why, why lie? Like, there's moments where he's lying in his thing, and you're like, why are you trying to lie? It just doesn't make sense. But, hey, you know, this is what happens. This is what has to happen for the movie. Now, I know I'm going in on this movie, but there was one shining light. The message. The message that this movie says about you, no matter how old you are, no matter how, like, no matter what point in your life you're at, you can always go back to school if you want to. There's, you don't have to just be stuck in whatever job or whatever thing you're doing. You can always find another way. And that's the one great thing I take from this movie. The fact that they, like they're encouraging these people to do something with their life and go to school and just try and, try and pursue something else other than what they're doing. One, the, there's a Spanish guy who wants to be a pop singer, but he drives lifts or dental hygienist is what he says. But he, I just, you want to care more about these characters, but they just don't do a good job of making you care too much about them. The comedy isn't that good, except for very few points. The chemistry between Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart, they were hoping that this, that the, their, their star power alone would make this movie great, and it really doesn't. And I'm sorry, I wanted, I wanted it to be good, but it isn't. So, to round this up, this is the grade I'm going to have to give this movie. I'm sorry. This is the best you're getting. Why? Because it just you just didn't do what you promised you were gonna do. And in fact, there's this mo there's this moment where where they had this collage of like you know him failing and failing, and then by the time things changed, or whatever, I didn't know if they were joking or if this is really how it was going. And you don't want people confused in a movie like this. It's it should be simple. It's a comedy. You ain't trying to. This ain't no rocket. You know. I was going to say rocket surgery. That's wrong. But, you know, it's just this, this movie, Just I wish it was better. But I can't recommend it as far as a comedy. If there's a movie, if you have a movie pass or something like that, maybe see it. If you have A-list, maybe see it. But uh, if, if not, don't waste your money on it. There's better movies. See a, a Simple Favor. See, like, Searching. Like, I'll even say see Clock in the Wall. But this, I'm sorry, I can't recommend it. So that's pretty much my review for this movie. If you guys agree with me, comment down below. If you don't agree with me, comment down below. Uh, put on those notifications. And remember to like the video. Please like the video. I, mean, I shouldn't be begging. No, like the video. I should be telling you. Anyways, remember to subscribe. Check out my last uh, movie review. Check out my playlist of my movie reviews. And remember, I'm Wes Grant. You've been watching Sub Urban Nerd. You've just been notified. Catch you guys on the next Daily on the Nerd News.